Good morning, everyone. Let's do some problems from the relative extreme apart. The question is, locate all the relative extrema and saddle points for the function fxy is equal to 4xy minus x raised to 4 minus y raised to 4. Now, to find the critical points, first calculate the partial derivative with respect to x and y, that is fx and fy. fx will be 4y minus 4x cubed and fy will be 4x minus 4y cubed. For critical points, both fx and fy are equal to 0, which means y is equal to x cubed and x equal to y cubed. Now, when we substitute y equal to x cubed in this equation, we will get x equal to x cubed, the whole cube. And that means that x equal to x raised to 9 or x raised to 9 minus x equal to 0 means x into x raised to 8 minus 1 equal to 0 which means that either x is equal to 0, x raised to 8 equal to 1, which means x equal to 1 or x equal to minus 1. If x equal to 0, y is equal to 0. If x equal to 1, y is equal to 1. And if x equal to minus 1, y is equal to minus 1 from these equations. Now let's calculate fxx. fxx is equal to minus 12 x square fyy is equal to minus 12 y square fxy is equal to 4. Now let's start with the critical point 0 0 Let's calculate D, which is fxx, that is 12 into 0 into fyy is again 0 minus 16, which is less than 0. D is less than 0 means the point 0, 0 is a saddle point. Now, for 1, 1, fxx is minus 12 into fyy is again minus 12 minus 16 which is equal to 144 minus 16 which is anyway greater than 0 and fxx is equal to minus 12 which is less than 0 means the point 1 comma 1 is a relative maximum. Now, for the point minus 1, minus 1, D is equal to minus 12 into minus 12, minus 16, which is equal to 144 minus 16, which is anyway greater than 0. And fxx is equal to minus 12 into minus 1, the whole square, that is equal to minus 12, which is less than 0 means the point minus 1 minus 1 is a relative maximum. Now let's do second problem. The question is determine the dimensions of a rectangular box open at the top having a volume equal to 32 feet cube and requiring the least amount of material for its construction. Now let's call x to be the length of the box, 
y to be the width of the box and z to be height and s denotes the surface area. Now we know that the surface area is equal to, suppose we have a box like this. X, Y, Z. The surface area will be X, Y plus 2 times X, Z plus 2 times Y, Z. Now we are already given that the volume x, y, z is equal to 32, which means that I can represent z equal to 32 by x, y, and s I can represent it is as x, y plus 64 by y plus 64 by x. We are representing s the surface area in terms of the two variables. Now to find the relative minimum for the function x, let's calculate first the critical points. To calculate the critical points, first calculate the derivative sx, the derivative of s with respect to x, which is equal to y minus 64 by x squared and sy is equal to x minus 64 by y square. Equating both the derivative equal to zero, we will get x equal to, sorry, y is equal to 64 by x square and x equal to 64 by y square. Now in place of y, we can substitute 64 by 64 by x square, the whole square from this equation. That is x is equal to 64 by 64 the whole square into x raised to 4 or x raised to 4 by 64 minus x equal to 0 or x into x cubed by 64 minus 1 equal to 0 which means x equal to 0 or x cubed by 64 equal to 1 or x cubed equal to 64 means x equal to 4. So x can be either 0 or x can be equal to 4, but they are taking x to be the length, x cannot take 0 value, hence the value for x is equal to 4. Now, when x is equal to 4, when x is equal to 4, we can say that y is equal to 64 by x square and hence 64 divided by 16 which is equal to 4. So x equal to 4, y equal to 4 is the critical point. Now the second derivative is xx is equal to 128 divided by x cube s y y the second derivative with respect to y is 128 by y q s x y is equal to 1 now to calculate b equal to 128 by 4 q into 128 by 4 q minus 1 you will get 2 into 2 minus 1 which is equal to 3 greater than 0 and SXX is equal to 128 by 4 Q which is equal to 2 which is also greater than 0 means the point 4,4 is a relative minimum that is you need minimum surface area 
when you're taking the length equal to 4 and width equal to 4 and we can get also z equal to 32 by xy and that is equal to 32 by 16 which is equal to 2. Thank you.